Next, place a towel under the pump drive gear retaining nut to keep it from falling into the gear housing. And remove the pump drive gear retaining nut and washer. Now use 8 millimeter by 1 and a quarter millimeter screws to attach a T-bar puller to the drive gear. And pull the fuel injection pump drive gear off the pump drive shaft. Then remove the T-bar puller. Next, remove the three pump to housing mounting nuts. When removing the lower inboard nut, use the special offset 13 millimeter wrench listed earlier with the other special tools. After removing the mounting nuts, remove the pump from the mounting studs being very careful so that the drive key does not drop into the gear housing. With both the new and old pump on the bench, Remove the special washer wired to the throttle lever of the new pump and set it aside for later use. Next, transfer the throttle lever linkage ball stud from the old pump to the new replacement injection pump. For vehicles equipped with automatic transmissions only, you must also remove the throttle position sensor and bracket assembly from the pump top cover by removing the three attaching Allen screws. Next, remove the throttle position sensor from the bracket assembly and save the TPS adapter, screws, and bracket for installation to the new injection pump. Now, transfer the three top cover screws from the new injection pump to the old pump. These screws are too short to properly install the TPS bracket. Now, install the TPS bracket onto the new pump using the three Allen mounting screws from the old pump. Insert the hex on the bottom of the TPS adapter into the hex in the replacement pump throttle lever, making sure to engage the adapter tang into the notched area of the bracket. Next, install the new throttle position sensor, which can be identified by the new bottom surface design as seen here. Then install the new throttle position sensor from the parts package onto the bracket, making sure to insert the slotted end of the TPS adapter into the notched area of the throttle position sensor. The TPS adapter must engage the throttle lever hex and the TPS notch with the throttle position sensor and throttle levers spring-loaded to the low idle position. The throttle position sensor will be adjusted after the new injection pump has been installed. The next part of this program will demonstrate the proper procedures for installing the new fuel injection pump. To begin, spray the top dead center lock pin with Mopar MP50, part number 4549626. To assure proper operation, push the pin in and pull it out several times until it moves freely. Next, remove the plastic plug at the lower right of the transmission adapter housing and install the barring tool. Set the engine to top dead center by using the barring tool to rotate the engine in a clockwise direction as viewed when facing the front of the engine. For the engine to rotate in a clockwise direction, the barring tool must be turned in a counterclockwise direction. To set the top dead center position of the compression stroke, slowly rotate the engine with the barring tool while watching the keyway of the pump drive gear. As the keyway approaches the 6 o'clock position, push in on the TDC lock pin. When the lock pin engages the hole in the cam gear with the drive gear keyway, at about the 5.30 position, the engine will be at top dead center of the compression stroke. If the pump drive gear keyway passes the 4.30 position and the lock pin does not engage the cam gear, release pressure on the pin and rotate the engine counterclockwise until the keyway is in the 7 o'clock position and repeat the original procedure until the pin engages with the keyway at about the 530 position. 
Do not engage the lock pin into the cam gear while rotating the engine in the counterclockwise direction. Pump to engine timing will be adversely affected. Also, do not use a starter motor for this procedure. Use only a barring tool to slowly rotate the engine. To avoid breaking the lock pin, stop rotating the engine immediately when the lock pin snaps into the cam gear hole. After setting engine top dead center, remove the barring tool and reinstall the plastic plug into the access hole. Next, pull the TDC lock pin out of the cam gear hole. Do not move the engine once the number one top dead center compression stroke position is set. Now, remove the old injection pump mounting gasket. Clean the sealing surface and install the new provided gasket. To prevent slippage, make sure the injection pump drive shaft and drive gear are clean and free of all oil before installation. You will also note that the shaft of the replacement pump is locked so that the key aligns with the drive gear keyway when cylinder one is at top dead center. Now, making sure the pump shaft key engages the drive gear keyway slot, install the new injection pump onto the mounting studs, being careful so that the shaft key does not fall into the gear housing. Install the pump mounting nuts on the studs and finger tighten the nuts, making sure the pump is free to rotate in the slots. Now, install the pump drive gear spring washer and nut and torque the nut to 18 foot-pounds or 24 newton meters. The pump may rotate slightly when tightening the pump drive nut because of the gear lash between the pump drive gear and cam gear. This movement is acceptable as long as the entire pump moves within the mounting stud slots and there is no pump shaft to pump housing movement. Be careful not to over tighten the pump drive gear nut. As mentioned, the replacement pump shaft is locked in position to eliminate the need to set pump to engine timing. Also, this is not the final torque for the drive gear. To take up any gear lash, gently rotate the injection pump against the direction of the drive rotation approximately one millimeter toward the intake manifold. When performing this step, do not apply heavy rotational force on the pump after gear lash is removed as this may preload the pump and affect pump to engine timing. After taking up the gear lash, evenly tighten the pump mounting stud nuts to 108 inch pounds or 12 newton meters. After this preliminary step, tighten the nuts to a final torque of 18 foot pounds or 24 newton meters. Now, use a chisel or similar tool to permanently mark the injection pump mounting flange to match the existing mark on the gear housing. Next, unlock the fuel injection pump shaft by loosening the lock screw and insert the special washer under the lock screw. Torque the lock screw to 10 foot-pounds or 13 newton meters. Next, tighten the pump drive gear retaining nut to a final torque of 48 foot-pounds or 65 newton meters. At this point, the towel that was previously used to cover the drive gear area can be removed. Next, reinstall the oil filler base and oil tube that were previously removed from the gear housing cover. Now, install the fuel drain manifold banjo fitting to the pump using the new bolt and sealing washers provided with the replacement pump. 